Well-fit review proudly sponsors Cage Fighter. Your time is up. Let's go on with the first fight. This one is Charlie Baldwin versus Stephen Sidwell. My name's Charlie Baldwin. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Grey's End and I'm fighting out of Razor MMA. Hi, my name's Stephen Sidwell. I'm 28 years old. Coming from South East London, fighting out of Band Dogs MMA. Fight for Razor MMA. We're a new outfit. We're coming into Ultimate Challenge to fight and we're going to come here to stay. Last time me and Charlie fought, it was a good out war. This time, Charlie, you're going down in the first. Stephen Sidwell, you best be ready for a fight. Just raise your MMA, boys. Don't go down easy. Ultimate, ultimate challenge, ultimate challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the UC MMA welterweight division. So please welcome your first fighter to the ring, Charlie Baldwin. So hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ultimate Challenge. Unbelievable. I'm Rob Nutley. With me tonight is Tom Kong Watson and special guest commentator Mark Carlin. As we go to our very first fight, Charlie Baldwin versus Stephen Sidwell. And what do we know about these guys, Tom? Well, I mean, I was speaking to Charlie earlier, and uh, these two actually fought as an amateur, Rob, before. And they had a back and forth battle, and he said he's really looking forward to push the pace and strike him, because last time out, Steve Sidwell was repeatedly trying to wrestle. So we'll, we'll see how these two fare as a pro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now welcome your fighter to the ring, Stephen Sidwell. So here he is. Charlie Baldwin's opponent, opponent, Stephen Sidwell. And Mark, if I can just bring you in here. What statistics do we know about this man? Well, Sidwell, he's 27 years old. He's 27 years old, he's 5'9". The geezer's fighting out of Band Dogs. And he's 1-0 oh and 0. Oh. I mean, Band Dogs as well, is, uh, we're seeing a lot of guys come from the Band Dogs gym now. And what we do know is they're going to come in good shape and, and they're very tough guys. I tell you what, all the boys down at Band Dogs, they've got killer team spirit. Something you do not see in many other gyms. He has a professional record of one win and no losses. Representing Razor MMA, Charlie Baldwin! And now let us welcome his opponent in the blue corner. He weighed in at 76.3 kilograms. He also has a professional record of one win and no losses. Representing Band Dogs MMA, Stephen Sidwell! Remember, no elbows to the head of a grounded opponent. All right, obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. When I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves, back your corner. All the way back. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Goes underway, straight into the action. Nice low kick there from Charlie to start it off. Sidwell retaliates. Both guys looking a little bit nervous here, Rob, in the opening. He's loving the low kick. It's working well. Both guys very tentative at the moment. Both guys just trying to feel each other out right now, looking for an opening. That's it, bang straight into the action. Nice work by Baldwin. Puts his opponent against the cage, but Sidwell able to reverse it. Sidwell now has got the, looks like he's got double underhooks here. This should be a good position for a takedown. He's trying to get that left knee in the middle of the leg and try and hook him down to the ground. Good knee from Sidwell to the outside of the fire. Good knee inside as well. And how much energy does that take out of you, Tom, when you're up there? I mean, it's going to take a lot out of actually both guys because obviously Steve's working really hard for the takedown now, but Charlie's using a lot of energy here, taking foot stomps now as well. And Mark, you've been in similar positions. You know how tiring it is. Do you know what? When you're up against the cage, nothing else matters but just trying to keep yourself where you want to be. I'm loving the foot stomping. I think looking at what we're seeing here, Stephen actually looks like the stronger guy there. Even though he's been pinned against the cage, he seems to be able to reverse him when he wants to. And now he's looking, looking for the guillotine, it looks like. 
So that Charlie Baldwin reaching in, doesn't quite get it. Decides to change. Nice head control stuff in the takedown well. They both look quite relaxed still. Yeah, I think they've settled in now. The first minute, both of the guys look really nervous, but now we're seeing, you know, a high-level MMA battle. That's right, the adrenaline's now gone. Phased out of them both. Now it's about the fight. Baldwin reaches up high, tries to stretch the guillotine on, doesn't quite get it. Stephen looking angry. Well, overreaching with the right hand. Nice counter with the kick there. Good shoot, double and leg. And Good again, score. Charlie does very well to stop the takedown there. He's, he's kind of controlled the fight in, in, in this sense. I think he's taken the middle and he's stopped Stephen taking him down when he wants. Beautiful work by Baldwin as he moves into mount position. We can see now he's trying to push his head down. That will give him the leverage to land bigger shots. Nice, now he's got him pushed down. Sid well. In trouble as Baldwin starts unleashing left and right punches. Lil Sledge looks Sidwell off. needs to be moving it. We can see he's trying to push with his arms, but he needs to be bridging because the referee could call this fight any time. That's right, Sledge looking in closely. Baldwin firing those left hands. Looks as though the energy's starting to. It's got to be close to the end of the first round as well. Can he finish him inside the round? This is what MMA is about the ground, the pound, and the giving the people exactly what they want to see. Good Sledge punches coming in here. It's and over. Perfect stoppage there from Charlie. And you can see how much that means to him as he literally flips through the, the air in the cage. Great win for him. And you can see the frustration of Stephen Sidwell. He'll be well pleased with that victory. And you can see from the replay, Charlie Baldwin was very much in control. Even when he looked in bad positions, he reversed it pretty quickly and got himself comfortable. But I think the turning point was really when it hit the ground. Yeah, well, I mean, we see here he's pushing the head down with his right hand. It's taking a lot of power away from his opponent there, which gives him the leverage to sprawl out on him. And then he came into the mount position and finished the fight. And here's where it ended. Charlie Baldwin firing great shots to soften his opponent, eventually forcing the referee to call a stoppage. Great work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 36 seconds of the first round, we have a winner due to referee stoppage from ground and pound, Charlie Baldwin! And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to your runner-up, Stephen Sidwell. It's static, mate. I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. Absolutely speechless. I'd like to thank all my fans, though. I've got a few of them, I tell you that. But listen, was you always working for a grand and pan? I was working to knock him out quick and easy, get my peas and leave. Well listen Charlie, you're a great character. We're looking to see you again in the cage? Definitely, whenever, definitely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, Charlie Baldwin. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Big, huge shot. The best fighters do battle. The ultimate challenge. Wow! Shot. What a fight! Big right hand is over! The ultimate challenge on Sky Sports. And check out www.ucmma.com.
sport for the brand new show, Kane's Fighter. Oh yeah, we got knockouts. Submissions. And much, much more. It's the best in mixed martial arts. So if you want to see the action, watch Cage Fighter. Fighter.